you'll realize that you've always known these things. You've always known what you love to do. You just ignore it. You've always known what you liked. You've just accepted and tolerated things that you don't like. Hey, it's Anna. So for this video, I want to talk about how to find yourself, like how to be who you are, how to be yourself and how to uncover who that is and then like go out there and just be it unapologetically. And I just want to start off actually by saying that like you already are it. You're not looking for anything. You're not trying to find something that's lost or something that you're not. Like you already are it. It's who you came here to be. It literally is you and always has been and always will be. Like that is you. It's just that you've forgotten or like you've lost sight of it. And now you feel like it's not there. Now you feel like you're lacking. You feel like you need to search for something or you need to become something else or you need to better yourself and like become a new version of you or something. But every version of you is all within you at once. Like it's all there. It's just about what you tap into. It's about what you express, what you choose to express, what you choose to feel, what you choose to see. So it can never be missing. It can never be something that you need to find. It's just, it's always there. But again, with my last video where I talked about fear, like it is the external that makes us feel like we need to find something. Like it's the external things that make us feel like we're not it, that we're not good enough, that we haven't got it, that we need to become something else. All of that is an external thought an external concept and an external idea that we've heard so many times that we've then started to say it to ourselves too and now we believe it but that doesn't make it real that doesn't make it right that doesn't make it true it's just something that we've been told and so we've accepted it so in order to find who you actually are you've got to block it out. You've got to block out all the things that you're not. You've got to block out all the things that you don't agree with, all the things that you don't want to be a part of, like all of the people that don't benefit you, that don't serve you, that aren't in alignment with who you are. Like it's about really sitting with yourself and going within. As cliche as that sounds, it kind of, it like it is the truth. You have to face yourself and we're always distracted by other things. We're always running around, like having to work and go to different places and be around different people. So it can be kind of hard to just stop, like literally stop and be by yourself. But that is the only way. Like how are you going to know, like how are you going to know who you are if you're not aware of yourself like if you're not aware of your thoughts you're not aware of what you want you're not aware of what you like like that's the thing that you need to figure out that's the thing that you need to find out and you'll realize that you've always known these things you've always known what you love to do you just ignore it you've always known what you liked you've just accepted and tolerated things that you don't like you know oftentimes we do know we fully know but we just I can feel a fucking hair in my face oh my god that's really annoying I don't have a clue if I got that, but anyway, <laughs> oftentimes we always know, we just ignore it and we avoid it because we feel like we're not good enough. No, I can feel that fucking hair. I need to sort that out. Sorry about that. So oftentimes we can feel it. We know it. Like we, we are aware of it, but we shut it out because we're worried about what people will think. We're worried about how it will look to other people and how they'll react. But really like who you are is always who you're going to be in this reality like that is you that is why you're here you're not here to be like anybody else you're not here to do what somebody else wants the vision for you is the vision for you for a reason like only you can see that only you can feel that so like you're literally, we fight against the one thing that we're here to do, which is to be ourselves. And the reason that we even feel like fighting that in the first place is because we're told to fight it. You know, like that fear voice is not there when you're first born. When you're first born, you're not like laying there looking up at your mum thinking, oh my God, I can't be myself. That doesn't even come into your head. <laughs> you're literally thinking about I'm hungry please feed me like you're not thinking about 
like being yourself that just does not come into your mind it's an external thing that's been instilled into us so many times over and over again that we now believe it and now we act upon it now we carry ourselves like it when it's not real and it's not if it's not what you want don't follow it and it's as simple as that really like it sounds very simple obviously it's not as easy to follow through with but it's so possible you just have to get clear on yourself get clear on what you want get clear on what you like and don't like like literally uncovering yourself layer by layer peeling it back and that takes time and that takes a lot of alone time like a lot of stillness a lot of being by yourself and isolating yourself and really asking yourself the questions even like setting the intention to have the answers revealed to you in your dream like before you go to sleep being like please let my dreams guide me let my dreams show me something that i need to see let my dreams reveal to me who i am the path that i should follow and these symbols will always come up to you in your dream because that is when your subconscious mind is free to roam because your conscious mind the one that's there when you're awake is no longer there when you're asleep so your subconscious can show you these symbols and show you these images in your sleep and when you wake up and you remember what your dream is then you can like unravel and decode what that's trying to say to you and it's literally telling you something about yourself something about your life something about what you want to do and you can tap into that when you're awake too but you just have to be open to it you know you have to be open to feeling your heart really feeling yourself feeling who you are and i know it's the fear the fear is what holds us back like the fear is what makes us like second guess and question ourselves because you already know like i'm literally here to tell you that you already know <laughs> you already know who you are you just need to let go of the fear and listen to it like actually allow yourself to hear who you are because you've always known it's always been right there in front of you but you're just blocking it because you're scared and that's okay you know like we all go through that i've gone through that so many times it always happens and even when you get past it sometimes it comes back up like everything comes in cycles so it's a journey and it, it's a continuous thing a daily thing but it's right there <laughs> it's right there in front of you exactly who you are and exactly who you want to be and exactly who you're meant to be like your ideas your thoughts your goals your wants your dislikes everything is all there for a reason and you already know them they're right there and nobody else can tell you it like nobody else can give it to you nobody else can force you to look at it nobody else can be like hey this is who you are let me like reel off a list of exactly who you are like it's an internal thing like I said in the last video, only you can feel your thoughts. Like only you know what you're thinking. So only you know exactly who you are. And nobody, not your parents, not the school, not a boss, not anybody. Nobody, not a TV show, not your favourite celebrity. Nobody can tell you who you are but you. Because only you can feel it in your heart. Only you can think it. Only you can feel it. Only you know it. So you just have to trust yourself trust in that trust that knowing trust who you are literally so i mean most of my videos is gonna be like about you like it's literally giving you your power back and making you realize that it's you that needs to do it i'm not here saying like you need to buy my course you need to like listen to me because i have all the answers no it's literally you have the answers for you you know and I have the answers for me and sometimes it's damn well terrifying to even acknowledge that I have the answers for me because then that makes me have to take accountability for the fact that like I'm the one holding me back I'm the one blocking my goals and dreams I'm the one in the way like it's all yourself and that is scary as hell <laughs> but it's so powerful as well because then when you do finally pluck up the courage to get out of your own way you realize like you're set free because it was you all along it was nobody else so literally the thought of even needing to find yourself is you blocking yourself is you feeling like you're not yourself when you are 
and you always has been and you always will be you could never not be that's literally why you're here you know your mind is for you and only you your heart is for you and only you it's yours and we're all like we're all one we're all connected but this experience is an experience from your perspective it's an experience from your heart you know nobody else can do that for you nobody else has your perspective it's yours so go and damn well be that like that's what you came here to be we all came here to experience things differently in different ways for different reasons that's the whole point so there's no one else that you're going to be in this lifetime and there's nobody else that you should want to be in this lifetime because we're all going through shit we're all dealing with different things we're all trying to figure out who we are and we're all trying to like figure out how to get to our goals and figure out what we want to do and we all for the most part most people battle like fearing what other people think fearing how we'll look and fearing failure to be honest i feel like they're very conditioned human beliefs and thoughts that have been put into us like throughout the whole collective at this moment in time most people feel feel those fears you know so yeah i don't know i just feel like we're all learning now to come back to ourselves so i really want to put out the message there because i'm realizing it for myself and i think it's an important thing especially with the way the world is going right now the way social media and validation and ugh, all of the fake shit that goes on like i feel like it's really important to have positive empowering messages for people to remember that it's all about you and it's your self-worth it's your like everything is just you <laughs> so just be it you know and it's really easy to say i know it's really easy to say but believe me like i'm doing it myself i'm not saying anything that i'm not doing myself i know it's hard like there's some days where i literally feel like just curling in a ball and staying there forever like just give up kind of thing but then the next day i'll be laughing about something you know your emotions always change always shift so just go one step at a time and take back your power and remember that you can do whatever you want to do you are who you want to be you are it you just need to change your thoughts about it and get that fear out of the way so yeah that is it for this video of course i'm going to talk more about self-love and self-acceptance and everything like that like i'm literally going on this journey right now too and that's why i want to open up that's why i want to open up the conversation about it because it's the journey like it's a spiritual journey that literally means it's a journey you know we're always going to be dealing with something we're always going to be going through something we're always going to be learning about something so why not talk about it on the way and help each other through it so yeah definitely leave me any comments if you have any feedback for these videos anything you want me to talk about and if you just want to like share your experiences i'm definitely i'm always interested to hear where people are at and what they're going through and if i can help in any way then i definitely will but you'll probably end up helping me to be fair <laughs> I swear, me and my friend just trigger each other into revelations and like realizing our flaws and realizing all kinds of stuff about ourselves. So, even when you feel like you're struggling, it does really help other people when you like go to them for your problems, especially if they're self aware and they're like, they then can utilize what you're learning into themselves and what they're learning. So, it really is beneficial. And that is the purpose of these videos and the purpose of life. So, yeah <laughs> i got a bit rambly there but anyway i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye